CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight at Ogden Point in Victoria where an empty warehouse is sitting with organizers who hope to have it filled with food. It's the start of the great Canadian food fight. The annual drive for food and cash donations to help the mustard seed feed the hungry. But this year, the food bank that does its work quietly is also very quietly struggling to stay open. And for the mustard seed, this year's food fight may be the fight for its life. CTV's Andrew Johnson has the story tonight from Ogden Point. Andrew. Hudson, starting at 6, for the next 48 hours, the mustard seed food bank needs our help to compete against food banks from across the country, but more importantly, to get out of a desperate situation. We've all heard the food bank's pleas for donations, usually in the summer and maybe around Christmas time. Well, this time it's different, and we found that out for ourselves this afternoon. And back home, you were a teacher. Yeah. Eric yeah. Sama yeah, used like... to be a teacher. Now he's a single dad, struggling to keep his head above water. I've been uh, diagnosed with kidney disease, and uh, I have two beautiful kids. And uh, I've been staying in a subsidizing housing. I come here to get food to feed my family. He came to the right place. The mustard seed feeds close to 7,000 people per month. He calls me scissors, I call him groceries. Yeah. <laughs> Brent Palmer's been part of the family here for almost three decades, making sure the community knows when the food bank needs help stocking its shelves. But he's never seen anything like what's going on right now. We desperately need the assistance of people in this wonderful city. The mustard seed's critical shortage right now actually doesn't have anything to do with food. They need money because, as Brent Palmer has been known to point out, you can't stick a turnip, or in this case a potato, into a gas tank. We've reached, uh, in my time here, uh, a record low in finances. Uh, this has been something that over the last two years we've had a 20% reduction in uh, donations that have come to the mustard seed. Staff hours have been cut 25 percent. Many now volunteer to make up the difference. Palmer is carrying the weight of keeping the operation running on his shoulders. It's a tough one to talk about. It really is. I've been up since 2 o'clock this morning thinking about my colleagues and our volunteers and it, uh, it's not easy. We probably get about uh, half a dozen deliveries, maybe six or seven. They're taking a long look at what else can go to save money. The Christmas hamper program that can cost as much as $50,000 has even come up. Palmer won't hear of it. I would not want to have to wake up Christmas morning knowing that the mustard seed was not in a position to be able to assist with families, particularly with children. And I hope to God that that doesn't happen because I will work 24 hours a day to make sure that it doesn't happen. But the man who has devoted his life to helping people in Greater Victoria knows even he can't do it all. He needs your help. I go back 27 years that I've been here and I still can't express enough gratitude to the people that have kept this place going right up until now and I hope, I hope that they continue on doing so. You can drop off a cash or food donation to Ogden Point until 6 p.m. Saturday, anytime at the Mustard Seed on Queens Avenue, or a number of other locations you can find at mustardseed.ca. Hudson, it's important to get word out to the public in Greater Victoria that this isn't the usual drive for donations of cash and food by the Mustard Seed at the start of the Great Canadian Food Fight. The food bank is in a serious situation. Donations are down over the past couple of years, and the need is up. It's always rising, and it doesn't take someone with a big calculator to figure out what could happen if that situation continues. All right, Andrew Johnson reporting tonight from Ogden Point. Andrew, we'll check back with you at 6 when they kick off the food fight. Okay. All right, see you then. Thank you. Reverend Chris Riddell is the executive director of the Mustard Seed, and he is uh, with the entourage at Ogden Point tonight, getting set for the start of the food fight. He joins us now to talk about the situation. Uh, Reverend Riddell, thank you for being here. Uh, how bad is it? What's the, what's the financial situation you're facing right now? It's very serious, Hudson. We've had to lay off some of our staff, or not lay off, but cut their hours of our staff from uh, 40 hours a week to 30 hours a week. Um, we've never had to do that in the time that I've been there anyways, involved with the mustard seed. So that for us is really the last vestige of cutting that we can make is to our, uh, our services that we provide, which is given by our staffing. 
We heard in, in Andrew's report that, you know, the shelves might be um, not as bare as you might expect to see them. Uh, they certainly aren't full. But what you really need right now is, is money to operate. What do you need? Well, to operate the mustard seed, it costs about $150,000 per month. Uh, it sounds like a staggering amount of money, but Victoria has been so generous in supporting the work that we do um, to give of their uh, their means, whatever their means happen to be. And it's been uh, overwhelming, actually, in the years that I've been there to see how generous Victoria actually can be in a time of crisis. What happens and, and how soon might you find yourself at a, at a point of no return if you don't get that? Well, I think we're at a situation now where uh, there's no... Um, nowhere to go really as far as cutting other than uh, laying staff off I suppose um, so I don't really uh, look to that I'm looking to uh, what Victoria will do uh, in a positive way to help us and help the people of our community which is 7,000 strong the people that we serve uh, every month at the mustard seed all right the website's on the screen mustardseed.ca slash donate uh, Reverend Riddell thank you we'll check back with you at six uh, as we get the food fight underway and we want to beat Regina this year don't we absolutely yes yeah, uh, exciting exciting for us to do this. All right, we'll see you at six. Thank you. Thank you, Hudson.